How's it going everyone? Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint Horus Heresy Emperor's Children. This video was fun to make because we rarely use purple colors on our miniatures and that's uh, something new and something fun to do and it looks pretty cool. But be aware that purple colors are sometimes hard to cover so you will have to apply second and third coats sometimes. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay after the video to know how you can support my channel. I decided to start this tutorial by priming the model in black. You can use any primer that you like, there's really no preference, uh, but I decided to go with black. Here I'm going to start by covering the whole model in Nagarath Knight. This is just the base color to make it easier for the next color to cover but just uh, try to cover the whole model with, I'm using a flat brush and thinning it down just a little bit so that it goes smoothly and uh, trying to stretch the paint as much as I can so that it doesn't cover any detail. Also being very careful not to paint over drying paint because it breaks it up and uh, creates uh, crumbs and uh, stroke marks. Here I'm using Ceres Purple and this color is going to go in the same fashion as the last step. Just be very careful to use it uh, quickly and in the same fashion as the older. But this color is very thin, so you're going to have to give the model... I gave it at least three coats. And uh, be very patient, give it a quick coat. And even if it doesn't cover too well, just leave it as it is. And come back to it while it's dry, so that you can give it a second and then a third coat. Next, I'm going to use Drukai Violet, and this is once the model is dry, I'm going to go ahead and paint all the recesses with a detail brush. This is just uh, pin washing on the crevices of the model, or lining if you want to call it. Just make sure to give it a good uh, wash. If it doesn't look dark enough, you can go over it a second time. Or you can use black if you want. I decided to go with purple instead and I think it looks pretty good. Next I'm going to go ahead with Ceres Purple again. And this is just a cleanup stage. You don't really have to do anything if you did the last step right. But sometimes you touch some places that you don't want with the wash and this is just a clean up face just to make sure the model is clean and neat. Next I'm using Jean Stiller Purple and with this color I'm going to edge highlight all of the edges of the marine. Uh, this color was thinned down with a little bit of drying retarder to help me keep the paint wet and work with it longer around the miniature and I'm using a detail brush and using the edge of the brush as much as I can. Again, this color sometimes has trouble covering over other colors because it's purple and it needs to be a very very high quality pigment for it to be good. So sometimes I'm giving second coats and uh, checking out the model if the edge highlight went opaque enough so that I leave it like that or give it another pass. Next, I'm going to mix White Scar and Gene Stealer Purple at about 50-50 ratio. And this color I'm going to use it on only the sharpest edges of the armor, where you see the reflection of the miniature. So use the edge of your brush, and this step goes by a lot faster because we're only highlighting the sharpest edges. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and use Abaddon Black and start painting all of the places that are going to be silver and black. You don't have to paint all of the places that are going to be silver, just you can just paint the bolter case, but I like painting the metallic as well sometimes. Next, I'm going to use Lead Belcher, and with this color I'm going to paint all of the silver areas. Just make sure that all of the colors that you use on this tutorial, or any of my tutorials, to thin them down a little bit. Don't ever use paint straight out of the pot, and you'll be fine. 
Here I'm using mostly a detail brush to paint all the small details on silver. I am mostly using detail brush to paint uh, all of my models lately and uh, you have to be very careful to clean it up often so that paint doesn't dry on the bristles and ruins them. Next I'm going to use Balthazar Gold and with this color I'm going to paint uh, all of the details that you want to be gold. Uh, the more details you want to paint, the better it will look because it looks more like royalty or a little bit uh, more elite. So if you want that, uh, choose some areas that you want to be gold and paint them this color. Next I'm using Gehenna's Gold and with this color I'm going to cover completely the Balthazar Gold underneath. And I'm choosing this color as the main color of the gold because Although it's yellow and it's a complementary color to purple, it, it has a little bit of red and the surface purple, it's leaning towards red more than blue and they're like analogous colors so they look well, very good together and that's why it shows it. Next I'm going to wash all of these areas with Agrax Earthshade. Only the silver, the gold, and that's it. Try to not go too heavily over these colors with the wash. Just make sure that it goes into the crevices and tints the other areas. Just uh, like a little uh, layer that tints the area a little bit towards the aggress air shade so that it looks uh, old and um, weathered. But uh, don't try to go too heavy with it. Next, I'm going to use Etch in Grey to etch highlight the black. This is just standard way to highlighting black with grey. And uh, this is an etch highlight and it goes very fast. Once that's done, I'm going to use Downstone and this is going to go on the sharpest edges of the black or in a smaller area in the edges so that a little bit of the ashen gray still shows. Next I'm going to use Runefang Steel and this is going to be an edge highlight over the silver just to make them pop and uh, not trying to cover the whole area so that it looks so that you can see the wash and the old uh, sort of like iron looks like beaten and old and weathered. Once it's done I'm going to go ahead and use Liberator Gold. This is going to be an edge highlight for the gold and this is going to bring out the shine of the gold. Uh, you don't have to go over all of the gold areas again. Uh, just uh, do the edges and that looks pretty cool. Then I'm going to paint the eyes, but I didn't know which color the Emperor's Children have their eyes and there were different uh, pictures on the internet, but I decided to go with blue. So I'm going to start with counter blue and paint the lenses. Uh, paint them completely with this color. Next I'm going to use Teclis blue and this is going to go over half of the lens. I decided to go with blue because it is th towards the other side of the color wheel because both of the other colors are leaning to red. I decided to go with blue instead and then I'm going to use Temple Guard on the very front tip of the lens. And to finish it off I'm going to use White Scar and this, with this color I'm just going to put a little dot on the back part of the lens, being very careful not to be too watery or too uh, uh, thick. Just try to put a little dot on the back part of the lens and that's it. And this is the finished model. I have to say I had a lot of fun painting this model. Painting uh, purple is a little bit weird because there's a lot of shades of uh, purple that you can use. This is the easiest way to paint purple without mixing colors and uh, I find it that I like it a lot. But it can be a little bit more work because uh, these purple colors 
don't cover super well so uh, you have to give it multiple coats so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching i hope you found this tutorial entertaining and helpful and if you have any comments leave them in the comment section below like this video and subscribe to the channel to see more videos that really helps me out and also let me know what you would like to see next thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you on the next video You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing, but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.